The polynomial function k is given by k of x equals a x to the fourth minus b x to the third plus 15, where a and b are non-zero real constants. Makes sense. Each of the zeros have a uh, multiplicity of one. Interesting, which seems weird given the fact that we have a to the or x to the fourth x to the third plus 15, but I kind of know what's going to happen. In the xy plane, an x-intercept of the graph of k is that a zero of k is that, ooh, complex, which of the following statements must be true. So, all right, we have ourselves a quartic. There's four answers. And it looks like what we're going to have here is we're going to have, if it's a quartic, that means there's four zeros, four roots. And it appears to me that two of them are going to be real, two of them are going to be complex. Now, we're given one of the complex roots right here. Now, if we're given one complex roots, is, root, it's safe to say that the other one is going to be its conjugate, which is 0 0.478 plus 0 0.801i. Okay, so <clears throat> the fact that it's saying the graph of k has three x-intercepts, that's impossible if it's a four zero, we're either going to have two or four or none. Uh, that is a zero of k. Oh, I think I just wrote you out. The equation k of x equals zero has four real solutions. Nope. And the graph of k is tangent to the x-axis at that guy right there, which, you know, we can't, we can't know. Now, unless it told us that this was a maximum or a minimum, but, you know, we're told that it's an x-intercept has nothing to do with this. So b is the only guy that seems to make sense, and it's pretty obvious that that's got to be the only answer. Bada bing.